You can feel the energy in this building. They are fired up for game one. Back with that after this. Live from Dodger Stadium, we've got game one of the National League Division Series. It's the Chicago Cubs taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Game one is always critical in a postseason series, Singy. Yeah, and this is when you love having home field advantage, Boog. If you capture game one, you're full of confidence that you've got a chance to ride that momentum for the rest of the series. And on the visiting side, starting pitching is always the big key in a game like this to kick off a series. Yeah, you need a strong performance on the mound. That's the number one way to cancel out the home field edge we just mentioned. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set now on the hill here today, it's Walker Bueller. What do we need to know here about the right-hander? Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. Here's Nico Horner, and he deals. That clips the zone, so we're off and running in game one. Swing and a miss. 0 oh and 2. Not a swing you want to watch again. In the dirt. Sends it to first. One up, one down. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Ian Happ up to hit. In there, and it's 0-1. Cubs made Ian Happ a first-round pick in 2015. He played at the University of Cincinnati as an infielder. Played a little bit of outfield, but a guy in 2022. What a year, Chris. Both an all-star and a gold glover. Tapped in front of the play. Throws to first, and that is out number two. Let's take a look at our lineup. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team. And I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. Nathaniel Lowe. In now, takes ball one off the plate. Yeah, and wins that gold glove as a left fielder, and it's a guy that was a pretty good center fielder as well. But, you know, one of the things for him is just being able to be in the same spot every day. I think it increases the comfort level and allows that athletic ability to really shine. They say you win. One ball, two strikes. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the at-bat alive. Bounce to the left side. The throw to first, and that is that. And the Cubs are down in order. And now the Dodgers get a crack at it. No score. You're watching the National League Division Series on the show. Back here in L.A. and our pitcher in this game, Jamison Tyon. What do we have on him? Nightmare start last time out. Just couldn't put things together. Didn't make it out of the first inning. He's got to shake it off, try to put things together, and have a good one here. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Mookie Betts will get us started. Not only can he hit the cover off the ball, he's got a great eye as well. The wind and the pitch. Called strike right there. Ow. 
That's in there. And it's 0 and 2. On the ground to short, Swanson. One gone, bottom half of the first. Time now for Dave Roberts' lineup for the Los Angeles Dodgers. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away. Jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Freddie Freeman, the next to hit, takes ball one. He swings and fouls one off. Chopper right side. Corner. Gets it to first, and Freeman is retired. That is good. And up to the plate is Will Smith. And the first offering is not close. The pitch. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. And the right hander deals. And a count one and two. Righty delivers. That one drifts inside. It's a good take. In the air out to center. Garcia heads after it. Makes the grab on the run. That is the inning. Dodgers down in order. Scoreless after one. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started. Now the Cubs four-hole hitter, Adolis Garcia. He's a guy Chris's highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms in the sport. The wind of the pitch. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. 2 2 now. Good job to fight that one off. On the ground, right side. Gathers and throws to first. And Garcia is out. Dansby Swanson stands in. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. And he takes a strike. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. Everything came together for him. Nice job going the opposite way with it, letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. Man at first with one gone. Christopher Morell, the next Cub to hit. 
Swings and sends a rocket to right. And there's a hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. All over that one right there. Not a bad slider by any means. It was down and away, but an even better job to spoil that thing. And he let it travel, didn't try to hook it. Man, that's a really good approach. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. First and second, one out. Seiya Suzuki will hit next. Here's the pitch. It's a double steal. Tap softly third base side. A swinging bunt. Low throw and he can't dig it out. The center field, number 24, Cody Bellinger. Here's Cody Bellinger. And the first pitch misses for ball one. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Pitch misses, two balls, no strikes. Pressure's on right here. 2-0 count, base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three-ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. 2-0. A little bit low. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. And time is called for a mound visit now. Big moment in this game, so they'll talk it over. Swanson at third. Morell at second. Suzuki at first. One gone. Next pitch in for a strike. Three and one. Swings through that. Can't get too big here, Boog, with the bases loaded. And a pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. Second inning here, no score. Got him looking. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Well, that was such a great opportunity to grab the lead. You had the infield back. All you've got to do is just put the ball in play on the ground, and you drive across a run. It's a frustrating outcome for the hitter. Now, I'll still have a chance, but it's probably going to take a clutch hit with two outs. And next for the Cubs, Luis Torrens. Right through there for a strike. And here it comes. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. Two outs. Bases are full. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Cubs wind up leaving the bases loaded. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here at Dodger Stadium. And now the DH, Jared Walsh. The pitch. In the air, right field. Garcia settles under it. Makes the catch for the out. Batting. The second base. Brandon Drury to the plate. First offering misses the mark. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. The 2 0 is in for a strike. And that one is lifted in the air. Bellinger sizing it up. He's got it. Two up, two down. 
That exists. Not shortstop. And now it's Gavin Lux. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. First offering, and it just misses. Boy, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. The wind to kick the 2-0. Misses oh, with the 2-0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. There's a strike. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Close pitch there, but you got to forget about that call if you're out on the mound. You can't let it affect you going forward. You got to get out of the inning first, and then if you want to be frustrated, take it out in the dugout. Chris Taylor now. First pitch just misses. Kicks and fires. And it's one and one. Popped up. And he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. Here's a one two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Right-hander kicks, deals, and now the count is even. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Garcia makes the catch, and the inning is over. So the Dodgers leave one, will move to the third with no score. Back here at Chavez Ravine, and stepping in is the speedy Nico Horner. Horner, a guy who grew up in the Bay Area, was a huge fan of those late 80s, early 90s Oakland A's teams with Ricky Henderson and company. And Nico loved getting a chance to not only go watch Oakland play, but also the San Francisco Giants. Yeah, a big swing and a miss. Liner, base hit. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Ian Happ, the next Cub to hit. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. And takes low for ball one. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. And the righty deals. Horner on the go. Throw to second. Ow! That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. Good hitters count the 2-0. And that one fouled off. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Out towards left center. Dives for it, but it gets down for a hit. The throw in, and he's out. 
Got to love the hustle and the attitude there to try to stretch that single into a double, but unfortunately thrown out at second base. He was so close to being in scoring position. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. Grounded out his first time. And that's in there for strike one. Low measures six feet, four inches, 27 years old, and he's won a silver slugger in the American League. On the ground, and foul ball. Top of the third, no score. Bounced up the middle. Slings to first, and that is that. Home half of the third coming up. No score. And welcome back. Set for the bottom of the third, and now the center fielder, James Outman. The wide to kick the pitch. That one misses. One and oh. And another Going ball. Out. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2 0 count. He's got to execute here, or this could get ugly. Next pitch misses outside. And that's ball three. There's the strike. Next pitch is popped up. Puts it away for the out. Batting up. The third baseman, Brooks Lee. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Brooks Lee. Lee hitting ninth in today's lineup, and they traded for him earlier this year. Oh, and one. Next offering is fouled back. Here's the 0-2. And downstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And a 1-2. Back to the mound. On to first. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Here's Mookie now. Grounded out to short in his first trip. Popped up right side. Corner under it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Dodgers go down quietly. Still no score. Out of the fourth. So now it's the Cubs hitter in the four hole. Adolis Garcia. Garcia. And a pitch. Slice to right. And he pulls up on it, and that's a hit. And up next for Chicago, Dansby Swanson. And he's already singled in this game. Runner on the go. And first offering is fouled off. Bueller looked to first, and he's back in safely. 
Garcia on at first. Nobody out. The next pitch misses. Ball one. Good eye right there. And a 2-1 on the way. Brother goes again. Knocks it down. But the throw to first gets him easily. And that's the first down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Christopher Morell, the next Cub to hit. One for one with a single so far. First pitch, and he just misses. One out, and a runner at second. Check on the runner. Garcia back on a dive. And the pitch stays alive. Pickoff moved to second, and he's back in on a dive. Up the middle, tosses to first, and he's out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Digging in, Seiya Suzuki. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs with a runner at third. And that one fouled off. Oh, and two now. Squirts away a little bit. And the runner holds. Here comes a pitch. Next offering misses down and away. Runner at third, two away. Steps off, looks to third, nothing happening. Two, two. Good plate appearance there, able to take the walk. Uh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. Bellinger up to hit. Went down on strikes his first time through. Swing and a foul straight back. The pitch. And it finds its way through for a hit. And they strike first as they take a 1-0 lead. Big swing of the bat right there to give them the lead. That was clutch. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And now Luis Torrens. 0 for 1 with a fly out. First offering, and it just misses. That one the other way, and there's a hit. Coming home. Betts fires it to the plate, and he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. Bang, bang, play at the plate right there. Outfielder needed no help. An absolutely perfect throw to get him. Right on the money. Excellent tag by the catcher. And the inning ends on an awesome play.
Welcome back. Ready to go. Bottom four. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And that one is inside. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. That's hard hit in the line. And Freeman is retired. One up, one down. Now batter, catcher. Will. The batter now will be Will Smith. He's over one. Hard hit left side. Throw is low, and he can't pick it. Jared Walsh digs in now. Oh, for one, he flat out to right this first trip. Right side. Diving, and he can't make the play. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Well, that was an important at-bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Didn't make quality contact on the ground ball to the pull side, but sometimes it's just a matter of finding a hole in the defense. Two on, one out. Brandon Drury steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Ball one, no strikes. Two on, one out. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. And he deals. And misses inside. Gavin Lux waiting to bat for the Dodgers. And that is in for a strike. And the count is three and one. And there's ball four. Oh, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. And up next for Los Angeles, Gavin Lux. He reached out a walk his first time. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. And the 0-1. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. At the belt and fires. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. In the air, out towards left center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to make it up for it in his next at bat. Chris Taylor getting ready to hit. Fly to right his first time. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. That's the third. Morell. They get the force. That's the inning. Huge opportunity missed there. We played four. It's the Cubs one and the Dodgers nothing.
Back here in L.A., top five, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Nico Horner. The pitch. And ball one. Chris, it's always interesting to me to see a guy like Nico Horner, who wasn't drafted out of high school and then out of Stanford, was a first-round pick. That's some serious growth as a player. Fires across the diamond, one away here in the fifth. Here's the left fielder, Ian Happ. Hammered, and this one could be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. In safely, it's a double and his second hit. Oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. The manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Nathaniel low up to hit. Bueller throws over and he dives back in safely. Time called now as the pitching coach makes his way to the mound. A couple of relievers warming up out there in the pen. In there for strike one. Runner at second here, one gone. Lifted in the air down the left side, and it stays fair. The throw to third, in there safely. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Really not a pitch you want to swing at if you don't have to, because it's almost impossible to hit anything that far inside with any type of authority. That one tied him up, but still able to guide it into the outfield somehow. Runners on the corners with one gone. And now the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Righty delivers. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Righty to the plate. He can't make the play. In comes the run from third. It's 2-0. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. And now here is Dansby Swanson. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound. Lake tried it. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of them. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. Line drive to short and caught. Throw not in time as he's able to get back to avoid the double play. Nice swing and good solid contact. That ball was smoke, but needed a little more lift to get into the outfield gap. Maybe a little more backspin. So up now for Chicago, Christopher Morrell. In there at the knees, and that is strike one. First and second, two down. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. 0-2 now. Good eye right there. Oh. 
Got him. Third out, and that ends the frame. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 2-0 ball game. This is the National League Division Series on the show. Back here at the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Leading off, James Outman. Taya back to work. And that's in for a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. You know, these Dodgers, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at bats, and I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. They haven't run a single count full in this ball game, and that's just wild to me. That stat alone shows they're making it way too easy to get them out. And now it's even up. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Pat settles under it and makes the catch. And there's one away. The third base Brooks. Brooks Lee, the next to hit. Grounded out back to the pitcher his first time. There's the strike. Oh and one. And that one in the air center field. Bellinger drifts towards it. He makes the grab two away. Now Here's Mookie now. This is a true five tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. Pitch misses Whoa, inside. Yeah. Ball one. Fans come to the ballpark to watch him play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does, just a joy to watch. 2-0 to count. Here it comes. And that's in there at the knees. It's for average power, the ability to feel the arm, and then the speed. Really impressive. Next offering is foul back. The 2 2 on the way. He goes down looking. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here, and they're down 2 0. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Stanley Paulino. Now it'll be the Cubs DH, Seiya Suzuki. Suzuki goes five feet, 11 inches, 180 pounds. He joined the team as a free agent. Foul ball. In for a strike, and it's nothing in two. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Got it by him for the K. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Bellinger in the box again, takes a strike. Boog, I had the chance to scout Cody Bellinger as a toddler. He used to come into the clubhouse after games there in Columbus as his dad, Clay, was a catcher and a utility player on the team. And you could tell then that he had a pretty special swing. 
Next offering down in the dirt. Cody Bellinger told me a funny story that as he was coming out of the cage one time as a little kid, Derek Jeter said to him, hey, you don't swing like your dad at all. You got a pretty good swing. And it's through for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there was just no one there to knock it down. And next for the Cubs, Luis Torrens. Outside, that's a ball. The 1 0. There's a strike. Throw to first. Bellinger dives back. Bellinger, the base runner at first with one out. The 1 1 is fouled off. He's a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. The one two. Lee. Fired to second. And that's two. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Two, three, four, due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Cubs two and the Dodgers nothing. Here at Dodger Stadium, bottom of the sixth inning. Now here is Freddie Freeman. Tia back to work. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Dominant performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far, no runs across either, and he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. And here's the catcher, Will Smith. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Now, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Next one misses. Now one and two. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. And a pitch. On the ground left side. Six. Four. Low throw and he can't take it out. Well, he had the chance of turning two right there, but I don't think he got a good grip on the ball as he tried to transfer from glove to throwing hand. They say you can't assume a double play. I beg to differ at the big league level, but it's going to be ruled as a fielder's choice. Next is the designated hitter, Jared Walsh. In the air to left center. Hops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. Off the bat, I thought they were going to score their first run of the game, and that feels like a tough break, but look at the bright side. Really good contact at the plate, and now they're working with not just one, but two runners in scoring position, so they'd love another base hit right here. And now, Brandon Drury lifted in the air right center field. Bellinger drifts towards it. Brings it in. Runner tags from third. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. And a 2-1 ball game now. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Gavin Lux steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Yeah, 
swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. And that ends the inning. One run, a pair of hits, no errors, and one left on. On to the seventh here in game one. It's the Cubs two and the Dodgers one. Back here at Chavez Ravine. Now it's the second baseman, Nico Horner. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. Right back to him on the mound. Fires over to first. That's the first out at the top of the seventh. Off-speed pitch, and it looked like he just continued his momentum towards home plate after releasing that perfect position to make a play and help himself out. And first offering is fouled off. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. And he makes the catch. That's out number two. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Low at the plate now. That's ball one. When you look at the elite teams in the game right now, there is going to be the slug no question about it but the really good offensive teams combine slug with more contact with less swing and miss that misses three balls and a strike yeah and the domino effect of that is running up pitch counts on pitchers and then either getting them to a place of fatigue or getting into the bullpen perhaps before you get to those higher leverage arms at the back end. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Nothing happening there for the Cubs as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. Here comes a new arm for the Cubs, Adbert Alzelay. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Adbert. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Chris Taylor. One of the things that Jim Leland used to say when I was broadcasting,